about the human cost of war. There's a little town south of Richmond, Virginia, where I live called South Hill. When my girl got pregnant, well, I dropped right out of school. But there's no work in South Hill, so what else could I do? The recruiters came and knocking when this whole damn thing began. They promised me a college education, food, and medicine. They said I wouldn't spend a dime if I got deployed overseas. Plus Baghdad is safer now than old Washington, D.C. So I signed that dotted line right quick enough for the governor. I found myself at Fort Benning where I practiced for the mine. Well, Fallujah became my home, my comfort, and my dread. The Marines that came through first, man, they tore this place to shreds with the sound of crushing Amtrak in the wine of their Humvees. Caught in them, they tan their strikes, man, I wish I could have seen. But when we got to town, I realized we were only legs. We do dismounted patrols, we do searches and do raids. We hear the crack of small arms fire and blast from IEDs. We hurry up and wait, stuck in dust and stay low key. Man, I cannot stop this pounding in my head. I thought we were doing right, but that's not what folks back home have said. Sometimes I can't tell which way is up and which is down. But I'm on my knees for this chaos all around. Day out on patrol, doing time out in the heat. We were ordered to a neighborhood to talk to folks out on the street to gather information on where some weapons may be stored. We'll see if the Mujahideen haul them off out of collusion to the north. Well, my platoon got lost and made more than one wrong turn. We should have called in our position fast, but we blamed each other first. Then we started taking sniper fire. God damn them all. We couldn't find a shooter nowhere. He had us pinned down one and all. Well, friendlies, they caught up. We took back that dying street. But something wasn't right. And I was feeling really weak. My adrenaline was high and I was scared and I could hardly breathe. I heard the dark guard with stars, yet morphine might kill me. That's the last thing I remember, that in the heat and clear blue skies. And thinking about my girl back home, my daughter's little eyes. I took that bullet in Fallujah, laid up in Germany. And I'm headed back stateside to the care of Walter Reed. And I cannot feel a thing below my waist. Doc tried to help me, man, but it was too late. Now I don't know who is right or who is wrong. But I'm fucked up and I want to go back home. Firmly on the ground. Yes, one day.